Hello YouTube, welcome to weekly vlog number 54. Now normally it would, at the normally at the start of every weekly vlog I would normally be walking to work on a Saturday morning and I'd be saying hello welcome to weekly vlog number whatever vlog number it is and it's Saturday morning and I'm on my way to work blah 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 blah. Well that's not the case this week, oh no. So I have finished my weekly vlog from last week which was weekly vlog number 53 um, and it's now uploaded onto YouTube as well onto my YouTube channel Steve Official um, and now it is still Friday night. It is still Friday the 7th of February 2020. Now the reason why I'm vlogging uh, on a Friday night is because I'm actually heading out and I'm spending some time with Kirsty. So without further ado, let's take a look at me spending some time with my wonderful girlfriend Kirsty. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm just currently on my way now to see Kirsty at the bus stop in Castle Lane in Bournemouth where we usually meet up. So I'm currently at Frankie and Benny's with Kirsty, <laughs> and um, we've just come out of the cinema, haven't we? We have. So yeah, we came out of the cinema, and what did we watch? Do little. Do little. Yeah, it had Robert Robert Downey Jr. in it, and I like him. You like you like Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, he won my favorite actor. Yeah, not and because he's in, in Iron Man. Not because he's in Iron Man. No. Um, and it had Tom Holland in it as well, and Emma Thompson, and Selena Gomez, and other people that I Michael Sheen, and oh, just a whole host of people. Broad band or whatever name is, Broadband, Broadband, or whatever name is. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and now we've come to Frankie and Benny's to order something from their menu and have it for dinner tonight. Little um, dinner date. <laughs> dinner date. So yeah, um, so that's what we're doing. Giving my mocktail a try. <laughs> if I could catch the straw. <laughs> This is really nice actually. A mimosa, this is called. Mimosa. Okay, I've got the ultimate mac and cheese. What did you go for? Barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken with some onion rings, some chips. Is that coleslaw? Yeah. And some corn I went on the, the cob. New York barbecue chicken. Going for the New York barbecue chicken? Mm -hmm. Oh. That does look nice. Is it nice? Love it. Love it. <laughs> I'm gonna have mine now. Cold. It's what? It's cold. I'm cold. <laughs> She's cold. Oh, I'm just walking Kirsty back to her house or flat. Um, did you have a nice night? I had a really nice night. Did you? Yeah. Well, I mean, I could lie and say no. I hated every single second of it. You oh, know. That's it. No more dates for you. No, I want more dates with you, please. I want more dates. <laughs> you might have to beg. <laughs> Just get on my hands and knees. Oh, please, please, please. I'm going to have fun tomorrow because it's currently half past 11 at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog on a Friday night. And I've got work tomorrow morning at 7am, which means I've got to be up at 5 to 5. Yay. Anyway, so I've just dropped Kirsty off. She's just running because she's had to go to the toilet. Um, so anyway, I'm currently on my way back home. It's just starting to rain as well, which is brilliant. And I've now got to get myself to bed as well. So let's take a look now at the rest of the weekly vlog starting from Saturday morning. Let's take a look. I promise you now I have gone home and gone to bed. It's Saturday morning because last scene I was outside and I was walking home. This scene I'm now walking out the door and I'm now on my way to work. Look at that, that's so artistic and so nice. How pretty. Wow. Just got into work on this Saturday morning and I'm just about to have some breakfast. For breakfast today I've got two oranges and I've also got my flask of tea as well. Oh, Saturday afternoon, it's sunny outside and I'm walking down Castle Lane because 
my bus must have left the bus stop early, I don't know, but anyway, I've finished work and I'm just currently walking down Castle Lane to go and catch either the M1 bus to Castle Point or the number three to literally the stop that's literally just up the road from where I live. Oh, finally made it home. Uh, so I basically went to the Broadway at, the, at Castle Lane and caught the M1 bus to Castle Point and then walked from Castle Point all the way back here, so... Anyway, I'm finally home from work and now I'm just about to get out of my work uniform on this Saturday afternoon. So it is Saturday afternoon and I'm just currently taking Buddy out for a quick walk around the backfield. Okay, I've got some Titan cake bars, some mini rolls, a cup of tea there and I'm just about to watch the 10,000th episode of Coronation Street, which bro uh, broadcasted on ITV late, well, not late last night, but half past seven last night, and obviously I missed it because I was out, so I'm just about to press the play button, and I'm just about to watch the 10,000th episode of Coronation Street via ITV Hub on my TV in my bedroom. Catching up with the last two weeks episodes of EastEnders on BBC iPlayer on my TV in my bedroom, this episode is from the 27th of January 2020. Sunday morning, it is wet, it's windy, it's blustery, it's all sorts really, and I'm currently walking to work as I'm doing a 7 till 1 shift again today. For breakfast today I've got two oranges, banana and a flask of tea. Sunday afternoon and I've just got home from work and just got out of my work uniform. The X Factor will not be returning this year. Simon Cowell has revealed that he plans to take 12 months off uh, to kind of reconsider how the show could work moving forward. Uh, so the X Factor will not be on during autumn 2020. However, it has been confirmed though that the show will be returning next year in 2021. And ITV have given, have allowed uh, Simon Cowell and the team to kind of go back and think uh, as to what they can do with the next series of The X Factor. Of course, The X Factor was commissioned for another series on ITV for 2020. However, due to the circumstances, ITV have given, like I say, them permission to kind of take the show off air for the year. So, of course, that uh, series has now been commissioned for 2021. The Netflix original series You has started filming its third series. Of course, the second series of uh, the TV show has appeared on Netflix's streaming service at the start of 2020. The third series, however, will be on Netflix in 2021. The department store Bills, which was found in Bournemouth in 1881, uh, will be closing down over the next eight weeks. It has been confirmed. Of course, the store has gone into administration. However, uh, Bills stores will remain open in 11 other locations, while 12 other loca uh, 11 other locations, as well as Bournemouth, uh, will be shutting down. So it does mean that Bills will only be open in 11 locations, such as Pool and Fairham. Let's look at this week's official top 10 charts uh, for the week, the 7th of February to the 13th of February 2020. So at number 10 is Adore You by Harry Styles. Number 9 is Roxanne by Arizona Zervis. Number 8 is Life Is Good by Future featuring Drake. Number 7 is Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish. And number 6 is Someone You Love by Lewis Capaldi. Number 5 is Godzilla by Eminem feat Juice World. Number 4 is Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa. Number 3 is Before You Go by Lewis Capaldi. Number two is The Box by Roddy Rich, and finally at number one by Weekend, it's Blinding Lights. So there we go, that is your top ten official charts here in the UK for this week on the 7th of February to the 13th of February 2020. Check out next week's weekly vlog for the next uh, week's official charts in the UK for the top ten. So it is Sunday afternoon and I am bracing Storm Kira because Storm Kira is here in the UK right now, um, and I am currently on my way to see Kirsty at the bus stop um, at Castle Lane. So I'm just currently walking up there at the moment, trying to brace Storm, Storm Kira. Ooh, what did you get? A halloumi wrap. I've got... Let me check my view. Grilled halloumi and sweet chilli. Oh, grilled halloumi and sweet chilli with chips. Yeah, 
Yep. And you also got a Guinness as well. Oh yes, gotta love a Guinness. <laughs> got gotta got get that into Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> Your house properly. Oh, yeah. nice copper, the, copper so bag. The me that, uh, oh, that copper bag. No, one boy and one girl likes girl. That's actually quite nice. Copper <laughs> bags. Strawberry and lime copper bags. No, that's actually. Yeah, it is. Really nice. Yes, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. How's your meal? Nice actually. Yeah? No, no, no. Oh, you're going to try some now. Okay, guys, so a day. They go. They are both open. You're looking. Yes. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. Go to the nice. Store. Okay. I decide to go for the same, and then Kirsty tells me it's vegan. Are you sharing food? It's there somewhere. The little bee. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I got a malt Oreo milkshake and you got a Tennessee honey pot. Honey pot. Tennessee honey pot. Tennessee honey pot. I had it before, it's delicious. That looks nice. Actually. Is it's it nice? Cocktail. Cocktail. So I have the triple B burger. And you went for a Donny J Trump? Yeah. Donny Tra J Trump. Uh -huh. Oh uh, yeah. That looks nice. It was really good actually. Big burger. <laughs> it's Sunday night. I've just got back from Kirsty and of course I've just taken Buddy for a quick walk around the neighbourhood as well. Uh, now though I am just about to take my coat off and get into my pyjamas and get myself to bed as I've got another early start in work tomorrow. Now taking you into the start of the week with Good Morning Britain. This week's brand new artistic visuals are created by Hermione Allsop and Hastings Furniture Service. Now here it's the ITV Lunchtime News. Things start to intensify as a custody battle begins and Pete says his goodbyes in Emmerdale tonight at 7. Now though, let's join Warwick Davis with Tenable. Now here on ITV, it's Ben Shepherd with Tipping Point. It's the Brits 2020 next week. So tomorrow night, we're looking back at some of the best bits. It's the Brits at 40, here at 8. Now, though, it's the chase. Good morning. It is half past five at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. It's Monday morning and I'm currently on my way to work. I did oversleep, by the way. I normally leave my house at like 10 past five, but... It was 10 past 5 when I woke up this morning, so I'm kind of 10 minutes behind schedule. So there we go. Anyway, just let you know, by the way, um, just let you know where me and Kirsty went yesterday. Uh, we went to Weatherspoons, went to me in the square in Bournemouth, uh, and then after that we went to Seven Bone Burger in Bournemouth, okay? Um, Seven Bone Burger was actually really nice, really enjoyed, really, really enjoyed it. Um, I would definitely recommend it people should go there honestly it is so nice really lovely food as well um so yeah anyway storm kira is still here with us by the way um she's still here she's still blowing the winds and stuff like that so there we go oh my god that's a trampoline <laughs> someone's trampoline must have gone over the fence oh god breakfast there, I've got two oranges and a flask of tea. It's Monday morning still and I'm just currently walking down the road to my house after finishing work. I did a 7am to 11am shift. Just got out my work uniform. Monday afternoon, just about to have some lunch. For lunch today I've got chicken flavoured instant noodles. Also for lunch today I'm going to have some lightly salted tortilla chips with a white and dark chocolate bar. Watching the IT crowd on Netflix. Just done the washing up and put the dishwasher on. Just made a cup of tea. 
Check out my blogging website steve-official.com right now to read my latest review of Treat Myself by Megan Trainer. Today is World Epilepsy Day. So it is Monday night. I'm just taking Buddy out for my la for his last walk of the night. Just take a look at this. This is what Storm Kira has done. Look at this. Literally a whole tree has fallen down. And luckily it has not fallen onto the houses. Very luckily. But literally, look at that. This is what Storm Kira has done. Oh my good God. This is bad. Really bad. Really bad. Good morning. It's 10 to 6 at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. It's Tuesday morning. I'm currently on my way to work as I'm doing a 7 a.m. till 4 p.m. shift today. And my cheeks are really hurting right now because it was that cold this morning. The winds are so icy this morning that literally I cannot feel my cheeks. For breakfast today, I've got crunchy peanut butter on toast with a banana, orange, and a flask of tea. Tuesday afternoon, just uh, coming down the road to my house after finishing work. I did a 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. shift. I'm also listening to some music on my Bluetooth headphones. I'm listening to Harry Styles' Fine Line album. Currently taking Buddy out for a quick walk around the backfield on this Tuesday afternoon. Yoo-hoo, Buddy! Buddy! Hello, boy! Time for me to get out my work uniform. Just about to do some washing up and fill the dishwasher. Just made myself a cup of tea and I'm also going to be having some milk chocolate digestive biscuits with my cup of tea as well. Today both CBBS and CBBC channel both celebrate their 18th birthday, that's right, on this day in 2002 both CBBC and CBBS launched on digital TV. Today is World Internet Safety Day. So it is Tuesday night, I've just had some dinner for dinner tonight, I had chicken and bacon pie with mixed veg and some mash as well. I've also taken Buddy out for a quick walk as well for his last walk of the evening around the neighbourhood um, and I'm now just about to put some ironing away that I've been given which is on my bed so I'm just about to do that uh, and then after that I'm going to head off and have a shower and get into my PJs. Just made myself a cup of tea on this Tuesday night. Now on this Tuesday night, I'm just about to have a video call with my wonderful girlfriend, Kirsty, on WhatsApp. Okay, so it's Tuesday night. It's 5 to 11 at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. And I'm now just about to head off to bed as I've got another early start again for work tomorrow morning. Wednesday morning, it's quarter past five at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. And I'm currently walking to work. Just got into work on this Wednesday morning and I'm just about to have some breakfast. For breakfast today I've got crunchy peanut butter on toast with a banana, orange and a flask of... Just about to listen to some music before I start work. I'm in Costa right now. I've got a tuna melt with some Tyrrells, strawberry and cream frostino. Look at that. And Kirstie's got me. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> what did you get? Panini. Yep. Potatoes. Chips. Yeah. And a fruit. Fruit. Mango and passion fruit. Yeah. That does look nice. Yeah, it looks nice. I had it Oh. It's very summery, isn't it? Very really summery. <laughs> it's Wednesday afternoon. I've just left Kirsty and she's just gone back to work to do her afternoon shift. And I'm currently on my way home. Just about to get out of my work uniform taking Buddy out for an afternoon walk across the backfield on this Wednesday afternoon. Just made a cup of tea. And Deck Saturday Night Takeaway has been confirmed to be on ITV on Saturday the 22nd of February 2020 at 7pm. Wednesday night, just taking Buddy out around the backfield uh, for his last walk of the evening. And I've got something to show you. Now this is something that's happened over the last couple of days with Storm Kira. Let's take a look at this. Hey, look at this. So this here is technically the root of the tree. 
Look at this. Oh my word. This tree has literally fallen, fallen down. Oh my good God. This is really bad. Look at this. Storm Kira did this. And now, now I'm being tied by Buddy. But, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This entire tree has fallen down. Good God. Thanks, Storm Kira. I really appreciate this. Good morning, it's Thursday morning. I've just woke up at the time being 20 to 8 and now I'm just about to get dressed. It's looking like a little bit of a cloudy day outside and a little bit damp as well. Currently walking through Castle Creek Car Park right now as so I'm on my way to Audi in Mallard Road Retail Park in Bournemouth as I'm just about to go and get some bits from Audi. Just got home from shopping at Aldi, so this week at Aldi I bought some chocolate pillows for breakfast which I'm going to be having in a second. Um, uh, I also bought some chocolate fudge milkshake, an orange juice which is smooth with no bits, a mango and passion fruit smoothie, I also bought some ginger nuts, custard creams, 12 Jaffa cakes, some malted milk biscuits as well because I really do like those biscuits. Uh, I also bought some bacon rashers, some barbecue flavoured potato snacks which is technically Aldi's version of Pringles. I bought some lightly salted tortilla chips some cheese puffs, uh, beef uh, flavoured and chicken flavoured instant noodles, I bought two of each and finally I also brought some uh, Belgian buns as well which I'm going to have for lunch a little bit later on today so there we go, that is everything that I bought this week at Aldi at Mallard Road Retail Park just about to have some lunch for lunch today on this Thursday afternoon I've got some beef flavoured instant noodles and I'm also watching the movie Us on the TV in the living room. Okay, on my iPad right now, I'm just about to upload this surprise YouTube video onto my YouTube channel, which you guys uh, can watch. If you haven't yet watched it, then please give it a watch straight after this week's weekly vlog. Uh, but it's called Steve's Project X Cloud News and Samsung Galaxy Unpacked February 2020 coverage. Uh, so it was meant to be um, these clips that I've uh, put together and put into this YouTube video, and obviously I'm posting it now onto my YouTube channel, Steve Official. Uh, I was meant to include it in this week's weekly vlog, but it took up so much time during this week's weekly vlog my vlog was going literally way over 45 minutes had I have kept those clips in so I decided to make it into a separate video and I thought I'd upload it as a little surprise for my subscribers on my YouTube channel for this week's uh, for well for this week on my YouTube channel so there we go so I'm just uploading that now onto my YouTube channel Steve official it's called Steve's Project X Cloud News and Samsung Samsung Galaxy Unpacked February 2020 coverage. So it is Thursday afternoon. I'm just about to uh, do some washing up and then I'm going to put the dishwasher on as well. So there we go. Steve's Project X Clown News and Samsung Galaxy Unpacked February 2020 coverage is now available to view on my YouTube channel, Steve Official. I just want to talk about Project X Cloud very quickly because for those of you that have seen that YouTube video uh, on my YouTube channel, Steve Official, um, obviously I am signed up to become one of the Project X Cloud testers um, for Microsoft and basically it's obviously the Xbox in the cloud. Anyway, I've explained all of that in the video uh, on my YouTube channel, uh, Project X Cloud News and Samsung Galaxy Unpacked coverage. So. Check that out. Um, but I just want to very quickly say something. So yesterday it was revealed that Project X Cloud is now available for iOS. Um, now what you need to do uh, is obviously you need to sign up through Microsoft. As long as you've got a Microsoft account, you can sign up by searching up Project X Cloud. It'll obviously take you up to the sign up page and then away you go, okay? Um, and then all you do is you choose iOS 
as the system that you use um, and then obviously what you need to do is you need to get test flight for iOS which is an app available on the App Store um, and then what you just do is just wait until you get the email come through uh, and then all you do is click on the email uh, and then it will give you a reference you put that reference into your uh, test flight app and then away you go you'll be able to download the Xbox game streaming preview app uh, for iOS and then obviously away you go now at the moment there is one game on there which is Halo um, so anyway it will um, hopefully there'll be more games coming to it in the near future um, but check next week's weekly vlog though weekly vlog uh, number 54 uh, or 55 I think it is uh, and and uh, obviously you'll see me playing uh, my Project X Cloud on both uh, my iPad, maybe a little bit on my iPhone as well, uh, and as well on my Dragon Touch K10 tablet, which I will be unboxing uh, very shortly during this week's weekly vlog. Ah, I got a parcel uh, from Amazon, of course. This is the Dragon Touch K10. So I am just about to uh, unbox it and we're going to see what it is, what it's like. Uh, now this is basically the Dragon Touch K10. Uh, now this is an Android device. Uh, yeah, this is an Android device uh, which has uh, got Android 8.1 in it. Um, and I'm really just going to be using this tablet, really, to be honest. Um, here it is. I'm going to be using this tablet just to uh, be playing Project X Cloud on, which, of course, you guys know about. Um, so, here we go. Uh, so, this is a 10-point-inch uh, touchscreen display. Uh, really nice tablet by the looks of it. It's a very low-budgeted tablet as well. Uh, it's also got Wi-Fi enabled as well. It's got four quad-core processor. Uh, it's got a dual camera on it as well. Um, and that's pretty much all the basics really that's on this tablet. So uh, I'm going to, without further ado, just slide the sleeve out. Uh, and here we go. I'm sliding it out. Um, oh, it's also got uh, operating system Android. It's got resolution 8 800 by 1280 uh, the camera is just two megapixels the battery is 5000 mAh as well uh, it's got a CPU of quad core 64 bit the storage uh, is 2 gig of RAM and 16 gig of uh, internal storage as well uh, so I'm going to open up the box when it decides to open have I got it? Have I got it? There we go. Yeah. So anyway, there we go. Um, and now I'm just going to... There's another bit that I need to undo. There we are. Uh, so, without further ado, there is the tablet itself. So I'm going to take the tablet out nice and gently. Um, here we go. Oh, it's very, very thin. Very light as well. Uh, which, is, which is good. Um, so there we go. This is the tablet itself. Uh, it feels really nice as well, really nice. Um, I think it's got a metal back as well on it, which is good. Um, but this is the tablet itself, so there we go. Uh, like I say, 10-inch touchscreen display, so there we go. Um, so I'm going to power that up very shortly. Uh, and I'll show you what else is inside the box uh, as well, uh, which is just... A user manual is inside the box, so we've got the user manual on how to use it. Uh, I've also got a two-year warranty as well on it, which is uh, good. Uh, I've also got a USB lead and a plug socket, and that's pretty much it, really. That's all I get inside the box. Uh, so there we go. Anyway, so I'm just going to, without further ado, peel off this little attention sticker. Um, so I'm just going to remove this. Um, there we go, I'm just undoing it, there we are, there we go. I should really get a, uh, a, a case for this as well. So anyway, I'm just trying to work out now how you switch it on. Um, it's probably very simple to switch on. Yep, there we go, I've switched it on. Uh, so there we are, look, 
it's just switching on now uh, but yeah there's the uh, the power button is this little button right here uh, where my finger is the rocket button the volume rocket buttons are here where my finger is as well uh, what else have we got we've also got a I think we have got a HDMI port somewhere along here as well as the charging port as well uh, which is really awesome and somewhere else as well next to the volume rocket uh, is a little uh, is a little headphone jack as well so i can listen to music so there we go anyway i'm just about to uh, start it up it's saying hi there uh, now i need english united kingdom uh, which i bet it oh it probably does have it english united kingdom there we go, yeah, right, I'm going to press start, uh, and then we're just going to just connect up to the Wi-Fi and all of that, so there we go. Okay, so I've got my uh, tablet all set up now, as you can see. Um, so obviously I put my email address in, my Wi-Fi details and all of that, I put that in there. Uh, so obviously this is how it is set up to look, uh, so that's all my emails there. Uh, I can have it this way up as well, when it decides, there we go, so I can have it this way up or I can turn it that way and have it this way. Uh, let's look at the camera. I'll show you the camera on this. I mean, the camera's not that perfect, I'm not going to lie, um, but I'm just trying to find where the um, turnover camera is. Oh, okay, that's taking a photo. Oh, there it is, there. Um, and then obviously, look, here I am, um, and there's my camera. Um, but again, the, the picture's not perfect. Um, and look, I mean, just look at this. It's not, it's not the greatest camera of them all. I'm not gonna lie. But then again, this is a budget camera. This is a budget tablet, you know. Um, so I'm not really gonna expect much. Uh, and obviously, right here, I've got all the apps. I just slide up to get all the apps. So obviously, I've got the calculator, the calendar, the camera, the cr uh, Google Chrome, the clock, the contacts, Google Drive, Google Duo. Files go, FM radio, Gmail, Google, Maps, Photos, Play Movies and TV, Play Music, Play Store, Settings, Sound Recorder and of course YouTube as well. So all the basic Google apps are pretty much on there at the moment. Uh, but I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to go onto the Google Play Store right now. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to press no thanks to that. Uh, no thanks to that as well um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to search this app on the App Store which is called uh, Xbox Game Streaming I believe and I didn't press the space bar there we go here we go Xbox Game Streaming Preview uh, now this is an app which will allow me to play games like Gears 5, uh, Sea of Thieves, Halo, and all of that uh, from my Xbox One. And look, this is Project X Cloud right here. Look, it's an Xbox One controller with a clip. Um, and obviously a smartphone is on it as well. So there we go. So I'm going to install this app right now. Uh, so it's just going to download that so that I've got this app ready to go for tomorrow when I get my Xbox One uh, Bluetooth controller so that I can play Xbox One games on this tablet right here. Okay, I'm currently listening to the Harry Styles album, Fine Line, and this is on YouTube Music, by the way, um, but just listen. That's how loud my tablet is. That's all the way up to the top. So it is Thursday night. I have just got back from Bingo. I went to Buzz Bingo in Bournemouth uh, this evening and it was pretty good actually. I won five pounds. Wow. Um, so there we go. Um, and I've been listening to some music on my Bluetooth headphones all throughout tonight. I've been listening to Harry Styles, I've been listening to Louis Tomlinson, Megan Trainer, uh, Blossoms and Kesha as well and I'm now listening to JLS, uh, the essential playlist on Apple Music of JLS and the reason I'm listening to JLS is because they've recently announced their comeback, that's right they're going on tour, um, they're reuniting after seven years away and they'll be 
touring the UK later this year, towards the end of the year. Um, and as a matter of fact, I was messaging Kirsty last night, and we both we both said that we love JLS because. Well, I grew up JLS, listening to their music and stuff, and she's obviously listened to their music and she loves them as well. Now, they're performing on the 16th of November 2020. They're performing in Bournemouth at BIC, which is the Bournemouth International Centre. Um, and me and Kirsty have agreed that we will, at some point later in the year, get the tickets and we'll go and watch them live. So fingers crossed, towards the end of the year, uh, during my weekly vlog, I will have some footage of JLS live in concert at the BIC in Bournemouth. That's going to be really exciting, right? It's got to be. Um, so there we go, anyway. Uh, so I've just made myself a cup of tea. I've taken Buddy for his last walk of the night um, on the backfield as well. Um, and I've just made myself a cup of tea. I'm going to edit this weekly vlog um, a little bit. And I'm also going to catch up with tonight's episode of EastEnders via the BBC iPlayer app on my TV in the living room um, because obviously I missed the, tonight's episode because I was at bingo. But yeah, I won a fiver tonight. Very good morning. It is Friday morning and I've just woke up. And now without further ado, let's take a look and see what the weather is doing outside this morning it's looking a little bit cloudy out there but I think the sun is trying to come through but it's still looking a little bit grey now on this Friday morning it's time for me to get dressed Billy Elish has re uh, released a brand new single which will be used as the James Bond theme when No Time To Die, which is the next James Bond movie, is released in April 2020. The song is called No Time To Die, which of course is the same title as what the movie is going to be called when it's released in April. Um, and of course, Billy Elish is the youngest artist to ever sing the theme song for the next James Bond movie. So you may remember earlier in the weekly vlog I unboxed the Dragon Touch K10 Android device which I'll be using um, to play Project X Cloud games on um, from next week's weekly vlog onwards. Um, well, I can reveal that I did get a case uh, for my uh, Dragon Touch K10 which should be coming today from Amazon. Ah, today is Valentine's Day. And I just want to wish everyone who watches this YouTube video a very happy Valentine's Day. Whether you're single, whether you're just wanting to give yourself some love, or whether or not you are all loved up and partnered up with someone. Um, obviously I'm partnered up with someone, which is Kirsty, and I have a feeling, a really good feeling, that this won't be, this is my first and it, this won't be my last Valentine's Day with her. Honestly, I, I really honestly do love that woman so, so much. Honestly, she means the world to me. Just about to have some breakfast on this Friday morning. For breakfast today, I've got some chocolate pillow cereal. Just made myself a cup of tea on this Friday morning. So I'm just about to go upstairs to go and get my shoes and coat on as I'm just about to head out the door and see Ben and Gianni which is obviously my support worker and of course uh, Ben is my friend um, and yeah so we're going to be uh, hopefully going to um, Paul, Paul Key hopefully. Um, so I'm going to put the idea towards uh, Ben today anyway about going to Paul Key um, we'll just have a little bit of a wander around. It's a nice day out there at the moment So we'll see what we can do and see if we can go to Paul Key um, And have a wander around Paul Key and then maybe have a Weatherspoons uh, Breakfast or Weatherspoons lunch. So uh, Hopefully that's what we'll be doing today Friday afternoon, I got home from my support worker and I've been given a calling card from Royal Mail that's right, I miss them. Um, I was meant to be getting an Xbox One controller in the post today, but um, in order for me to play Project X Cloud via my uh, new tablet, and of course on my iPad and my iPhone as well. Um, but unfortunately, I'm not able to, because, well, 
and got the Xbox One controller with Bluetooth connectivity. Um, so I'm going to have to go and grab it on Sunday um, this weekend uh, because I can't get it tomorrow because I'm working tomorrow until 4 o'clock and the post office shuts at 2. So I'll have to go and get it after work on Sunday um, and then hopefully Sunday night or maybe Monday or at some point during next week's weekly vlog I'll be able to show you guys some Project X Cloud um, coverage, let's put it that way. Um, but however I did get something in the post, thank you to Amazon, that's right, you know, eBay and Royal Mail, they're, they're not as great as Amazon because, you know, Amazon are amazing. But I did get something in the post uh, from Amazon and it is a case which I mentioned about earlier for my Dragon Touch K10 tablet. Um, so I'm going to show you it now. So this is the case that I brought on Amazon yesterday for my Dragon Touch K10 tablet. Uh, now what I like about this is it's currently standing um, and if I bring the camera around here that you can just see how it is standing. Now what I also love about this camera is that it's got a perfect hold uh, for the back camera as well and it's got a little flap as well which is able for the case to stand up to make the tablet uh, stand up. Um, and it's just a really nice case. It's just perfect to sit here and play my Project X Cloud games on. Uh, it is also perfect uh, to watch Netflix series and Amazon Prime series on as well. Uh, and it's also perfect for watching YouTube videos as well while sitting here. So uh, I really do absolutely love this case. I bought it yesterday, like I say, on Amazon. Uh, it was $10.99. Uh, for this case on Amazon and because I'm a Prime member obviously I got it next day delivery as well so there we go that is my little review here of the Dragon uh, Touch K10 case Ricky Gervais and Netflix have announced the next series of Afterlife's release dates. Obviously, Afterlife uh, became a really popular hit series on Netflix last year. And, of course, straight after Series 1 had streamed on Netflix, it was later announced by both Ricky Gervais and Netflix that there will be an Afterlife Season 2. Well, now the release date for that Season 2 has been revealed by both Ricky Gervais and Netflix. They both revealed that Afterlife Season 2 will be coming to the streaming service on the 24th of April 2020. It's that time of the weekly vlog where we take a look at all the steps that I have walked between uh, the 7th of February 2020 to the 13th of February uh, to the 13th of February 2020. So without further ado, let's take a look at how many steps I've done each day this week. So starting with the 7th of February 2020, I did 9,633 steps in total. Then we move on to Saturday the 8th of February 2020, when I did 26,848 steps that day. On Sunday the 9th of February 2020, I did a grand total of 25,562 steps in total. On Monday the 10th of February 2020, I did 15,028 steps. Then we move on to Tuesday the 11th of February 2020, where I did 22,825 steps. On Wednesday the 12th of February 2020, I did 21,633 steps in total. And then finally we move on to yesterday, which was Thursday the 13th of February 2020, when I did 12,056 steps in total. And of course my How Many Steps feature will be returning to my weekly vlog again during next week's weekly vlog number 55. Okay, so there we go. That is everything that I've got coming up for you this week on my weekly vlog number 54. I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly vlog as much as I enjoyed 
making it like I always do every single week. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. So please give it a like. And if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I have no idea why you're not. Um, sorry to sound a bit Dalek-y there. I didn't mean to. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, if you're not yet subscribed to me, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel on that little red button down below this video. Please subscribe. Subscribe to me. Um, anyway. Hey, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this weekly vlog. Of course, I'll be back next week with weekly vlog number 55. Uh, coming up next week, I will be looking at Project X Cloud. Of course, I'll be having coverage uh, throughout the week uh, of me playing games on Project X Cloud by my Dragon Touch K10 tablet, my iPad, and my iPhone as well. We'll, we'll do some tests. Uh, on that. Uh, also coming up next week I've got Buddy's first birthday because it's his birthday on the 15th of February. He's one years old in human age. Um, so yeah, we've got Buddy's first birthday. I've also uh, got the EastEnders 35th anniversary celebrations as well because EastEnders turns 35 next week on the 19th of February. Uh, so I'll be obviously covering some of that as well. Um, and I think that is pretty much it. Oh, and of course I'll be going to Flirt Cafe uh, in Bournemouth with my wonderful, gorgeous girlfriend Kirsty, And I've got my Sonic the Hedgehog review. I'll also give you my thoughts on the brand new Justin Bieber album which came out today called Changes as well. You can listen to that via Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music and YouTube Music as well and it is also available to buy in all good music retailers on CD and through iTunes and Google Play Music as well. Uh, but that's all from me. Anyway, I hope you have a great week whatever you're up to uh, or great morning, great afternoon, great evening whenever you're watching this and I'll be back with my next weekly vlog next Friday. Uh, so from me, it's goodbye, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next weekly vlog on the 21st of February 2020. Bye.